Welcome back. A classic chance to see some fantastic music this weekend. The Grammy Award winning classical guitarist Jason Vio is joining the Bakersfield Symphony to perform uh, uh, really a, a magnificent selection under the direction of Maestro Stelian Kiroff. They'll be performing tomorrow night at Mechanics Bank Theater. They join us in studio this morning with a little preview. Welcome, gentlemen. Yeah, thank you so much. Great Good to, to see be you. Here. Have to be you here. ever worked before? Worked yeah. together before? We've, uh, Stelian and I have worked together a couple times before. Uh, in the Philadelphia area. Oh, okay. Yes. And uh, in fact, performing this concerto that we're going to do by Rodrigo, uh, the Concierto de Aranjuez. So. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That's <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so from Philadelphia to Bakersfield. Yeah, and this is my first time in Bakersfield. I've performed in probably 30 cities in California over the years, mm -hmm. and it's great to be here because one of my earliest memories as a kid musically was Buck Owens and, and his red, white, and blue guitar on Hee Haw and everything. It's uh, amazing. Yeah, it's well, uh, when did you reach out to him? Did you know that you wanted to bring him here, Stillian? Oh, yeah. I always wanted to bring him. Because you always have wonderful so guests that come in to join the symphony. Yes, absolutely, and we are very, very lucky to have Jason. Um, I, every time I work with him, it's, it's a little celebration, so it's wonderful <laughs> to have him in town, especially performing this piece, which is very special. Now, now the piece, you say it again, it's... Concierto de Aranjuez. You give us a little uh, the, preview? Yeah, the, the first, uh, the two of the tunes in it are pretty well known. Mm -hmm. I mean. Of course, the beautiful second movement, which has been in movies and television commercials. Uh, this famous melody that the English horn plays in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then the guitar takes over that melody in an embellished uh, form. But that that second movement is one of the most beloved pieces of the 20th century. Let me ask you, you if, from what, if I understand correctly, mm. you've performed with more than a hundred different symphonies and orchestras yeah. uh, throughout the world. Is it always different? It's, I mean, it's always, uh, you know, you always have to be ready for, for anything mm -hmm. uh, in a way, but there's, um, when, you know, with this piece I've performed almost 200 times, it's, if it's the piece like this, you know, this well known and this beloved, you really develop a, a, a very comfortable relationship with it in a way over time, over many years of touring. Mm -hmm. then now, was that what you performed in Philadelphia? We performed this and we performed also another piece okay. by Rodrigo. So yeah. we go we go way back. We go way back, <laughs> all the way to 2015. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Wow. That's, that's true. No, that is. Five years is a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you've got so many, uh, I would imagine, so many different re you know requests for you to join and come in to be able to circle back around to someone that you work with is that pretty rare is it or do, does it happen it happens often? I mean it doesn't happen all the time though and uh, that's the thing I think that you know and conductors and soloists both work on hours and hours and hours of music every season so when you do get to connect on a piece and work on it again it's always a lot of fun you know when you have a piece like this and, and since you both have worked on this together in the past when you and you're always trying to like maybe look for different things or new ways to examine it how often do you come back and say you know what we need to do that one again. I think does that one happen does with that Jason happen almost every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely every time because um, and I think the more you do the piece together, the more deep you get into the music and the meaning of the music as well. So it's a journey. It's a journey. When you're looking for soloists to come in and join the Bakersfield Symphony yes. during a season and whatnot, I mean, obviously you're looking for a specific type of variety. How often do we have classical guitarists that come? Well, uh, not often enough. Okay. So we are changing that. <laughs> so um, I, I, I'm hopeful that Jason will be coming back in the years to come so, so that we can work together and experience his wonderful talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I need to ask you this. Uh, have you ever taken part in an, some sort of like a, a orchestral flash mob of any type? Because we're, seeing those, flash we're, we're wow. seeing those pop up, those viral videos where they those walk into the middle cool. of a mall yeah. and yeah. someone like you would come out there and begin and then others sort of join in. Have you ever done anything like that? I've not. I think the most uh, viral thing or I guess the most famous thing I've ever done was winning the Grammy in 2015 for the best uh, solo instrumental 
uh, classical album. But other than that, I mean, no, I mean, nothing yes. like that. Nothing is, that sounds pretty cool. It'd be fun to do that, like a pop-up. It's like one of those right. pop-up things. Exactly. Right? Now, if you would like to see Jason performing, it is tomorrow night. The doors open at 6.15. The performance begins at? 7.30. 7.30. But we have a really cool pre-concert lecture that oh. Jason and I will be doing. This is exceptional. It doesn't happen every time, but this time we are going to be talking to the audience and sharing some facts about the music. So. And one fact you may not know is that Jason is considered one in the elite of classical guitarists in the country. Did you know that? That sounds great. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's a, it's a, no pressure. No, not at all. Not at all. Jason, Celia, thank you so yeah, much for coming so in much, this morning. Mike. Appreciate great it. Thank you. Can't wait to see it. All right.